She's healing her mind, her body, her spirit, and her relationships through her self-portraits. Okay. And um, then art therapy comes along and says, draw us a picture, we'll psychoanalyze it. Well, I'm coming along and saying, I'm going to design art to heal not just myself, but others. I mean, there's any religious, I'll call nationalist, or cultural connotations from them. And I found that black, white, and form deals with thinking, color the emotions. Geometrics have a way of organizing the mind below the conscious level, putting the body back into the homeostasis. In stasis, the immune system functions more fully, so it's like psychosomatic healing instead of illness. Uh, this image right here is perhaps the first image ever proven to heal physically and profoundly in a short period of time. I intuitively created this image to be a universally healing image for everyone, and what I found out, it has the ten archetypes according to Carl Jung, which is the square, the circle, the triangle, the sun, the moon, the star, um, triangles, uh, rectangles represent structure, flower. Um, and a spiral caused by the moon that makes you think more deeply. So if Young says what is true is true, my art could account for it. But mo most of the ten archetypes are geometric, so geometrics have a way of organizing the mind below the conscious level, putting the body back into balance. So hooked up to biofeedback, I blow that image up and sit in front of it so it uh, encompasses my full field of vision, and I reach one of the highest south states ever recorded, and the longest one, and within two days, the chronic in my joints due to stress from being in a wheelchair from an accident disappeared after two days that I had chronically for four or five years, which deals with the immune system and the homeostasis kind of reaction. Now, what that means is I quantified uh, visual imagery as a sixth form of quantifiable genius in 1998, the day we did that experiment, and it implies uh, that a unified scientific theory of art that includes the biological reasons why we quote unquote create what we call art can now be written, and I've been starting to write it. That's right. what art's about. And I've had testimonials over the last 14 years. I have 300 etchings like this. I found the healing aspects of any image are love, harmony, peace, balance, and beauty. And love is a tangible, uh, so to speak, ingredient. If I don't like you and I serve a meal that's supposed to be hot and cold to you, love is a missing ingredient. What artists do out of love is reflected in it. So all those qualities are in these pieces. So they're like medallas. They have the medalla-like aspects. But uh, over the last 14 years, I have testimonials. Four people saved my heart, my images have saved their life, and um, uh, um, other testimonials, that was a scenario in relationship I, to my prints. I collect poetry inspired by my art to engage people with it because they don't have biofeedback, neural feedback. It's another concept of healing. All the poems that come back to me are inspired because I have a way of collecting them. Uh, there's no obligation. And then um, I had testimonials coming back saying, well, I was studying for my bar examination and I um, was all stressed out. I knew I was going to fail and I put your image in front of me. It centered me, it stabilized me, made me feel calm and better and I continued studying. And the next day, not only did I pass, I passed with flying colors. And these were unsolicited testimonies. So I know my art is healing, but people started to say to me, uh, can you prove it? Well, I ended up meeting George O'Connor, one of the foremost um, uh, teachers um, to advance um, children in the, in the schools with biofeedback, neurofeedback, advancement training, um, and we had the opportunity to test my image and I proved it can heal physically and profoundly in a short period of time. Wow, they're very nice. Thank you very much for sharing with me. Thanks. And I have 52 and I can still Okay, it. there you go. Pipes right. are the square. I'm going to just give you one definition. I stick to science and psychology and my own intuition. And okay. I remove again any religious, alcohol, nationalistic, or cultural connotations. Okay. The ten archetypes, according to Carl Jung, are the square, stability, the circle, wholeness, fiber in the center, the sun, day, literally, masculine, the moon, feminine, night, a human face, by the way, we are pre-programmed to see faces in our environment. And this one's neither masculine or feminine, happy or sad, but contemplative. So you contemplate it and you end up contemplating your own thoughts. Okay. And then um, triangles are the most 
most dynamic form, and a star energizes, according to psychologists. A flower represents the organic world, and rectangles represent structure in any image. And the spiral created by the movement of this piece um, causes a person to think more deeply. And those are the ten. Those are, those are the ten. Oh, that's interesting. Very good. Thank you. Again. Sure. This is a really cool